The American Muckrakers PAC, as you'll recall, is the organization that successfully ousted Madison Cawthorn from Congress after uncovering a plethora of disturbing, salacious videos. Now, quickly after they defeated him, they announced that their next target would be Lauren Boebert. And they didn't necessarily expect to find anything as salacious as they did with Madison Cawthorn. They really intended on focusing on financial crimes that she may or may not have committed. Um, and they did find that, and currently she under investigation by the Attorney General Office of Colorado for possible fraud. So we'll have to wait to see how that turns out. But they were wrong about uncovering anything salacious because needless to say, Lauren Boebert does not want this story to get out that they just released. And it absolutely speaks to the hypocrisy of these so-called family values politicians. In a press release put out today, they write, the American Muckrakers PAC Inc. today announced their team and volunteers have uncovered that Lauren Boebert was an unlicensed paid escort and met clients through sugardaddymeat.com. Text messages show she was bankrupt at the time and looking for side income and called her work pay to play. She was paid to escort wealthy men. According to our investigation in 2019, Bobert was hired by a wealthy male client in Aspen, Colorado, who was a Koch family member. Bobert's rich client subsequently introduced her to U.S. Senator Ted Cruz in Aspen in 2019. After meeting with Senator Cruz, Bobert was encouraged by him to run for U.S. Congress. After Bobert announced her campaign for Congress in December of 2019, Senator Cruz donated $126,000 to the Boebert campaign and helped her raise large sums of money during trips Boebert made to Texas. Boebert didn't disclose a $75,000 donation until Cruz's Federal Election Commission filing contradicted her filings. Boebert had an abortion at the Planned Parenthood Clinic in Glenwood Springs, Colorado, due to her work with the SugarDaddyMeat.com client. American Muckrakers obtained this information through an exhaustive investigation and a tip from a verified source close to this matter who has requested anonymity for fear of reprisals. We did not receive any information from Planned Parenthood or any other medical provider, nor did we obtain any information through illegal acts. Okay, so there's a lot about this story that I'm confused about just right off the bat. So in 2019, when she had a Koch family member as a client, when she was reportedly a paid escort, that's when she met Ted Cruz because said Koch family member introduced her to Ted Cruz. So that begs the question, was Ted Cruz a client of her? Now, part of me thinks, well, that obviously has to be the case. You know, if these coke filled orgies that Madison Cawthorn claims went on are actually happening, then perhaps they're recommending sex workers to one another. Who knows? But at the same time, it's difficult for me to believe that that's the case because as insufferable as Ted Cruz is, he's not that brazen, is he, to where he would hire a sex worker and then subsequently recommend that they run for Congress and then raise money for them. That just seems too brazen, even for someone like Ted Cruz. So I don't necessarily know, but his association does warrant um, additional scrutiny, given that he, too, likes to pretend as if he's a family values politician. And Lauren Boebert also likes to pretend like she's a family values politician. This is straight from her website. She wants Roe versus Wade being overturned. She's against abortions. She's against trans people freely expressing themselves. And so here's, here's what I fear. I'll, I'll state this just right off the bat. I fear that this is going to devolve into the situation where liberals end up effectively slut-shaming Lauren Boebert. I don't think that sex work is immoral. In fact, sex work is work and it must be legal. Criminalizing sex work endangers women. If you bring it to light and regulate it, you create a safer environment for an industry that will exist regardless if you try to make it illegal or not. So sex work is work. That doesn't make Lauren Boebert a bad person, the fact that she was a sex worker, allegedly. Lauren Boebert having abortions doesn't make her a bad person. She is entitled to do what she wants with her body. But the reason why this story is so infuriating, if it is true, is because of the shameless hypocrisy. As she is using her power as a legislator to crack down on how women control their bodies, well, she did what she's saying is immoral. That's not okay. That's not okay. So it feels a little bit wrong to expose someone 
because expose isn't necessarily the right word when we're talking about abortions and sex work, but what we are exposing here essentially is the hypocrisy, and that in and of itself is a problem. And I kind of file this under the category of exposing these anti-gay hate preachers like Ted Haggard, who was caught with a male prostitute. You know, I file this under the category of pro-family values Republican lawmakers who get caught pressuring their mistresses into having abortions. Lauren Boebert is now within that category if we can confirm that this story is indeed true. Now, there's evidence American Muckrakers brings receipts, but I do uh, feel inherently skeptical about this story because the details are just so explosive, right? It's really in your face that she had a Koch family member as a client, and then she met Ted Cruz and, you know, wanted to run for Congress. Like, this is American politics, and anything can happen, but it feels a little bit, I don't know. Um, it's a lot, right? So I'm, I'm cautioning everyone, don't just accept every detail of the story. There is evidence, but we don't necessarily have confirmation yet. But if it is true... If it is true that Lauren Boebert did have multiple abortions, we're not sure if both abortions that she allegedly had uh, were because of her sex work. I mean, obviously, that makes her the biggest hypocrite ever. Now, American Muck Records is stating that as a sex worker, she violated multiple statutes in Colorado. But that's where I take issue with this story. If she was a sex worker... That's not the issue. The issue is the laws. Where Lauren Boebert is to blame is with her hypocrisy. Um, look, I'll admit that when I saw all of the Madison Cawthorn leaks, they were fucked up. They were weird. I mean, him being naked, humping the face of someone who I'm not sure if this is confirmed, but may have been his cousin. Very fucked up. This is an anti-gay lawmaker and him being openly a homophobe while privately being fairly gay. That's an issue. But I felt like a lot of liberals kind of we're a little bit more like, ew, icky gay. And you can't allow these stories to devolve into that. You can't become what you hate. You can't shame Lauren Boebert for getting abortions and being a sex worker, if this is indeed true. But I think it is absolutely a necessity to shame these family values politicians if they say one thing and do another. If Lauren Boebert says publicly, women should not be allowed to control their bodies, but yet I controlled my body in the way that I saw fit, I was a sex worker and had abortions, then that's not acceptable. That is absolutely not acceptable because she's using her power as a lawmaker to control the bodies of women. And that's just not something that we can permit as a society. Either you believe something and you live your beliefs or you're just putting on a show for everyone. And if that's the case, you've got to be ousted from Congress. So to the extent that this story is true, it should indeed end her career. It should end her career. Full stop. Because, I mean, if you actually are going to claim that life begins at conception as she does on her website and imply or state explicitly that you believe women are murderers for having abortions, which is preposterous and the most extreme position that you can take, then I'm sorry. If you're going to do that, if you're going to get abortions yourself, you don't get to be in Congress. Her constituents should know about this. So I'm awaiting more details. I'm exhibiting a high level of skepticism about this story until perhaps there's more evidence. I'm assuming that she's going to deny this. I want to know more about Ted Cruz's role. But again, this is a Republican, a family values Republican. This is her words, not mine. And so would it surprise me in the least if she was a sex worker who had abortions while maintaining this family values facade? No, not at all, because we've seen it so many times. In fact, the loudest homophobes, the biggest pro-family values people usually turn out to be the biggest fucking hypocrites. So in the event this is true, then um, yeah, I hope she suffers the consequences for this electorally. And then this organization gets to notch two wins under its belt. And these Republicans better watch out, better be consistent, because if you say one thing but do another, odds are you might get exposed in the future.